Hi guys, Dr. Jade Rainbolt here, physical therapist, and today I'm going over how to relieve your stiff back. So if you are someone who's feeling a lot of stiffness, maybe pain in your mid upper back, this may be the video for you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to increase the motion in your thoracic spine. So our spine is comprised of our cervical, thoracic, and then lumbar spine. A lot of times when we sit for too long, gravity pulls us forward. It makes our mid back stiff and it can cause just like achiness, pain. It can make it hard to reach overhead. It can make it hard to turn and look behind you. And it can even cause problems like in your neck and even your low back. So here are my favorite thoracic mobility exercises. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and check out my other videos. But let's get into it. So the first one is gonna be on your mat and we're gonna do a cat camel. So what you're gonna do is go into all fours and you're going to go up and you know what guys? I don't know which one's the cat and what one's the camel, but you're gonna go up and down like this. So I think this is the camel and this is the cat, but I could be wrong. Either way, the first one is cat camel and you're just gonna wrap it out for about 10 to 15. Just getting that spine moving. Okay, so that is part one. And from here we can drop down onto our mat. This one is probably my all time favorite thoracic exercise, but it's gonna be an open book. So you're gonna be on your side. You want your hips flex up to 90 degrees. And sorry, I had too fun of a weekend, I guess, and my voice is gone. Screamed a little too much, huh? But anywho, you're gonna keep your legs up to 90, arms out in front of you, and then you're going to Turn and open your arm like a book. I have a wall in the way. And then back over. So if you imagine yourself as a book, you're going to turn with your head, look with your eyes, breathe out, and then back over. So this is the open book. So imagine I don't have this wall here. But remember to breathe out. Again, looking with your head and your eyes as you rotate. And you may get a little bit of popping, and that's normal. So going from there, we're gonna go into a half kneeling thoracic rotation. So with this, you're going to put one leg up, half kneeling, and you're going to rotate towards the leg that's up. So by keeping the hips flexed at 90, it locks out your lumbar spine so it guides it more towards your thoracic. So that's why we go towards the leg that's up just like the open book one where we keep the hips flexed up to 90 degrees. So other hand's gonna be down and then you're gonna rotate up and towards that leg that's up and then wrapping it out like that. Again looking with your head and your eyes. If we we're gonna go the other way that left leg would be up and we rotate, again, up, looking up with your head and your eyes, breathing out. And just like that, I felt, I heard, felt a little bit more popping, getting that spine moving. The next one is gonna be on our hands and knees again, and it's going to be quadruped flossing. So you're gonna put your hand by your head, and you're going to guide in through your arm, and then up towards the ceiling. And you're not gonna go real far. And that's okay. And then you'll do both sides. Floss through. Look up. Again, looking with your head as you go and with your eyes. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the wall. We're gonna do half kneeling around the worlds. And you can do a dual one here. So the first one is you're on the world. Your arms are gonna be in front of you. The leg closest to the wall is gonna be flexed up to 90. And you're going to rotate up, follow your hand by looking, go around, and then back around. Okay, and again, around the world. And you can also do a dual rotation with this as well. 
If you swap your legs, bring the other one up, and then rotate away. Do not let this leg come off of the wall. You wanna keep it parallel. Open, look, breathe out, and back over. Again, you don't want to come around and let the leg open up because then you're compensating. So keep that leg here. If you want to have something to like, make sure you don't move it, you can put a pillow, a foam roller there, and open up and keep your knee stable against that foam roller. So there you guys go. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.